Hello guys, so today you're going to learn about arrays and what are arrays. Instead of using a bunch of variables, you can make use of arrays. Arrays is a continuously allocated data structure. What do I mean by this? I'm going to show you in some minutes. So an array can hold all your variable values under a single name and you can access the values by referring to the array name. Each element in the array has its own index, so it can be easily accessed. In PHP, there are three kinds of arrays. A numeric array, an arrow with a numeric index, an associative array, an array where each ID key is associated with a value. We're not going to study about multidimensional array during this lecture. A numeric array stores each array element with a numeric index. There are two methods to create a numeric array. Number one, you assign it in this form, but automatically you just put the lower class is equal to array and put in inside each of your other. Now, let me show you the structure of an array. Let's assume that we're storing a set of names. At position zero, we have Suraj. Number one, we can have Olivier or any other name. Two, we can have Ritesh name or anything, right? At position 0, that is at index 0, will have Suraj, and at index 1 will have another name, at index 2 will have another name. Right, so an array starts with index 0, right, and end at the position length minus 1. Right, so we will have First of all, a length of three, one house, two house, three house, because it is sequentially arranged. Suraj, whatever name here, whatever name here, it's sequentially arranged. It is a length of three. The starting index is zero, and the ending index is take the length minus one. Length is one, two, three. So minus one, you're going to get two. Now, how to declare an array like this in PHP? Let's say we are actually declaring a set of names, like I've told you. You have to put an array, curly bracket, and it is an array of number. Let's put it an array of number. You can put it an array of string also, and you can just echo the law names one. Save it. Then you actually refresh the page, uh, so it says syntax error and expected braces on line 2. Ah, sorry, should be simple bracket. Right, so then you can get 34 at the number. Sorry for that, so you use simple brackets, right? Uh, if you say the position 0, save it then you execute it out, you're going to get 12. Normally the numerical arrays are not used, but associative arrays is the one I'm most, uh, I mean, I love it a lot, associative array, when you have to connect to databases and actually retrieve it. Right, so delaw names is equal to array 12 and then 34, when you do echo delaw names is equal to zero. Later on, I will show you how to iterate through this array and print the content out of it. You can also declare array in this form. You can assign it manually. Let Instead of writing this in this form, I can actually make use of the law name 0 is equal to Suraj. And dollar names one is equal to alpha. I'm a bit scientist, don't worry about me. In the future, Thomas Edison's <coughs> joking, right? Thomas Edison's was a really great worker, and he is someone that I really uh, inspire a lot. He's a great inspiration for me, Thomas Edison, right? So you will get this in this form when you actually could. So I've done the law names is an array at position zero and it's Suraj. The law names one it is alpha. It is at index one it is alpha. And when I echo it it echoes the same way. 
So this is about numerical arrays. We'll now learn about associative array. So we are going to learn now about associative array. An associative array is where each ID key is associated with a value. What is an ID key? For example, let me uh, give you a small guide here. Let's assume that you have a, a set of friends and you want to store the age. Let's say you're going to say Kera is 10 years old, Shiva is 13 years old, and uh, for example, Jesus is 36 years old. Now, you can store it with the name as an ID. I'm going to show you how. Let's say we have ages now. Are, where Peter has a value of 32, Quagmir has a value of 30, Joey has a value of 34. And when I echo Peter is, I just call in dollar ages, then I say Peter. So it will get this value over here, that is 32 years old, then we have Peter is 32 years old. Right, so let's say you're going to make dollar names, and dollar names is going to be an array. To assume it is an associative array, there must be an ID key. So to have an ID key, we'll say John. John is 32, uh, comma, Sima is 30, in the form of an associative array, and when I echo, I echo the law names as position John, save it as array2.php. And when we actually and when you and when you actually echo this content, you're going to get 32, which is uh, almost the same as this one. When I say Delaw names, search for John and the key and we get searched you. So this is overall about associative array where we have an ID associated. And uh, if actually I have not shown you maybe that if I say Delaw names zero, Suraj, avoid jumping to Delaw names one, right? Which is beta, right? This is possible. But avoid jumping to index 11. You have to go sequentially. It will give you an error. You can say the law name 0, the law name 1, then the law name 2, then 3. Right, so thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care.